Melbourne Monastery is one of Europe's most complete and best preserved medieval monastery complexes. The main buildings were constructed between the 12th and 16th century. The monastery's church, mainly in transitional Gothic style, had a major influence in the spread of Gothic architecture over much of northern and central Europe. The water management system at Melbourne, with its elaborate network of drains, irrigation canals and reservoirs, is of exceptional interest. In March 2018, university students from Valencia, Thessaloniki and Karlsruhe captured data for analyzing and visualizing this fantastic cultural heritage. Furthermore, a main topic of this project is to sensitize the students for the importance of cultural heritage. Laser scanners recorded the 3D point cloud of architectural structures and had been used for the interior part of the buildings. After more than 130 scans, a total number of 2.4 billion points represents the cloister. We didn't want to have only the the monastery, but we did wanted to have also some objects in a very detail. So we chose two different graves, and for doing this, we chose uh, two laser scanners. These are made only for objects very close range. After make the scan, uh, now we have to put all all the scans together, and in the end, we'll have a whole surface, a whole shape of the of the two graves. 3D models with a resolution up to 0.1 mm can be obtained by applying triangulation scanners. With close-range photogrammetry, the shapes of some important artifacts have been modeled in high resolution. Uh, what I did is use photos to extract 3D information um, of different objects like keystones, doors, um, statues, or even the surrounding buildings of the monastery of Maldbron. This information can be used for visualization purposes or further photogrammetry processing. Photographs taken from an unmanned aerial vehicle UAV, allow producing raster points of the exterior part of the cloister and additionally an orthophoto true to scale with a resolution of 1 cm. For analyzing the historic water management system, a historic digital terrain model of the surrounding is needed. Trying to go back in the past, uh, we we are using um, different data, different from different sources. So we will produce um, a historic, let's say, digital terrain model as it was uh, in the 16th uh, century. So, in simple words, we will attempt to reconstruct the historic water system as it was created by the monks. So the uh, the important thing, let's say, is that the monks of the Cistercian order um, were really notable for their innovations in uh, the field of hydraulic engineering. So it's really interesting for us to examine uh, in detail the techniques that they were using and the way that they were thinking. This model can be built by so-called downdating the recent DTM using old aerial images and maps. The ditches and lakes are partly existing or can be found in the old data. Additionally, infrared aerial images can be used to identify badly visible ditches. The 3D model of the total monastery complex will be created by adding textured CAD models and combining them with a digital terrain model. 
in order to demonstrate with the best accuracy of the detail points, the monastery was measured with uh, 3D terrestrial scanners. So what we did in the program, we tried to ally them in the best way that we can. So we will have the 3D model of the cluster and we could also visualize it to see it from virtual reality. Finally, all these points are used to calculate a mesh which is mapped with the aerial images, respective the photographs of the scanner. And with the mesh and the panoramic pictures which are created by scanning, we try to regenerate a new texture for the mesh to get a realistic impression of the model himself. The building should be accessible for the users through an application. For this purpose, the models are imported into a 3D engine and the world around them is created for the users to move around. In addition to the models, further information should also be shown. For this, we created info points. Um, this info point construct is designed in such a way that every point could be displayed in a unique way. The results of the project will be used directly for internet visualization, accessible to the public and also for architectural research and the administration of the monastery.